It happened. Tesla Cybertruck 2022 update is finally here. Even though the Tesla Cybertruck has been in the works for some time, there is still a lot of excitement and discussion around this pickup truck, as well as reservations. As Tesla's CEO Elon Musk recently stated, Tesla Cybertruck will feature some of the company's flagship technology, helping to make it a technology leader. After taking a closer look at Tesla's brand new Cybertruck, it is hard for anyone to not feel enthusiastic about the new vehicle, as it is a very exciting concept. It has a number of changes compared to the older version that is certainly worth looking at. So this could be a game changer for Musk's Cybertruck, as it has made a number of changes. Would you like to know what those changes are? Then stick to the end of this video to get to know more about the latest Cybertruck. Hey everyone, welcome to Tesla Exposed, a good resource of what's happening inside Tesla. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the masterpiece, the Cybertruck 2022. So without any further ado, let's get started. So a brief teaser video of Tesla's new Cybertruck has been shared online by electric vehicle advocate Harsimran Bansal, who happened to capture the video while he was visiting one of the company's showrooms. The video showed the Cybertruck in both urban and outdoor settings, and it's impossible to deny that the electric pickup truck looks awesome in both environments. On city streets, it looks like an advanced vehicle from the future, and at work sites such as Gigafactory in Texas, it looks completely natural. So arguably, one of the most interesting scenes in the teaser video for the upcoming Tesla Cybertruck involves the all-electric pickup truck drifting around in a field. Due to the design of the vehicle, the scene almost gave the impression that the vehicle was CGI, or a miniature version of the truck that was being controlled remotely in the backyard. On a similar note, in Gigafactory, Texas, the Cybertruck scenes looked pretty otherworldly, beside the domineering machines that are used for construction at the complex. Additionally, the Cybertruck looks almost unreal, and how the vehicle is essentially CGI in real life as well, as Tesla's new teaser for the all-electric pickup truck all but highlights this point even further. At several points of the video, the viewer would almost have to look twice before being able to determine if the vehicle in the frame was legitimate or not. However, due to the low resolution of this video, it is difficult to get a lot of information out of it. But there is one thing that is quite clear. The vehicle has side mirrors, which is an obvious change from previously cited Cybertruck prototypes, which did not have side mirrors. The one thing that is certain is that Tesla has been pushing for cameras to replace side mirrors in order to increase aerodynamic performance in its trucks, which also increases its efficiency and range. However, there were many others who pointed out how the removal of the side mirrors would be potentially dangerous and against rules and regulations, but there is no doubt that side mirrors on any vehicle help with a clear view of traffic from behind and can even assist drivers and passengers in detecting pedestrians and other obstacles. Nevertheless, there are some people who argue that there is absolutely no need to make this addition. Are doing, as in modern day cars, many companies have experimented with the addition of mirrors on the side, with a camera feed instead of just being mirrors. In general, side mirrors on vehicles are mandatory, and in accordance with the US Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard, it has been legal in Europe for many years. However, the legality of live feed on these through cameras placed at the rear has not been clarified in the United States. While more and more technology becomes part of today's vehicles, there may be a balancing act that needs to be performed between convenience, safety, legality, and a sense of wonder. Also, it has been reported that Tesla is planning on updating its Cybertruck production version for the upcoming model year, and one of the most important upgrades will be rear-wheel steering. Further, due to the amount of new technology in the electric pickup truck, the ramp-up will be so difficult even with the delay. It is expected that the first Cybertruck prototypes will be tested on public roads, much like the Ford F-150 Lightning and Rivian R1T trucks that have been spotted over the last year, but Cybertruck prototypes sightings have been scarce. It was announced in last summer that Elon Musk's Tesla Cybertruck will have four-wheel steering, which should enable features similar to Hummer EV's crab mode. It was stated by him that this will enable tight turns and maneuvers with high agility, while even other EVs have recently been launched with rear-wheel steering, such as the Mercedes-Benz EQS. Normally, the glass shattering after being hit with a steel ball would not be surprising, However, Tesla's workers just completed a lengthy demonstration in which they were dropping steel balls along with the shaft onto a piece of the company's new window glass to prove it was not affected. After throwing the steel ball at the windows, he had hit the truck's door with a big sledgehammer, and that was just to demonstrate the strength of the truck's body panels. And as we know, the impact from the blow of the sledgehammer had also slightly damaged the glass. 
Then, after this ensuing scene of the window breaking, Musk talked about the real reason why the window had broken, and he said the sledgehammer impact on the door cracked at the base of the glass, which is why the steel ball didn't bounce off. In my opinion, we should have used a steel ball on the window and then sledgehammer on the door. During his explanation, he also mentioned that the extra strong steel body explains something else about the Cybertruck, why it looks so weird. As you may know, the body of the Cybertruck is comprised of thick, cold-rolled stainless steel, which is basically used to build SpaceX rockets, so it's not the typical thin, pliable steel used in car bodies. Most of the auto body panels are made by stamping machines that can mold the metal into complex shapes, with a wide range of tolerances. It is clear that Cybertruck's steel cannot be stamped, and the reason why Cybertruck is apparently so planar is that you cannot stamp ultra-hard 30 times steel, as it would break the stamping press. In order to bend it, it needs to have a deep score on the inside of the bend, which is how the prototype was made. This is what resulted in the truck's strange, flat-edged appearance, which has prompted a number of creative comparisons on the internet. It appears the Cybertruck has been compared with everything from a doorstop to an old Apple mouse to the SpongeBob SquarePants characters Flats the Flounder or a triangle on wheels. There is no question that it should be compared with them because it seems like it is a fictional vehicle and that would have not been able to be made a decade ago when technology was not at its peak. But now Elon Musk is putting in a lot of effort to make the futuristic things or the fictional projects and we can clearly see him getting close to realizing them by looking at his projects like the Starship, the Cyberbot, the Cyberhouse, the Falcon 9, etc. And talking about its release, even though production of the Cybertruck has been postponed until late 2022, the excitement regarding the imposing all-electric pickup truck is unlikely to diminish anytime soon. There is hope that Tesla may be testing a new prototype after the recent sighting of a Tesla Cybertruck. Electric pickup trucks were supposed to debut in 2020, but they have been postponed until the latter part of 2022. Recently, Tesla updated the footnotes on its order page to confirm that the configurator will be available when the production reaches near the end of 2022. Once Cybertruck starts populating the road, it will be quite interesting to see how conventional drivers react to the change. Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, also confirmed that the company does not anticipate starting Cybertruck production before the end of 2022. This could be due to the fact that there is a worldwide shortage of chips at the moment, but it cannot be said that it is the primary cause. But yeah, it is definitely disappointing for technophiles like us that the release has been delayed. But let's hope it enters the market before 2022 ends. But what do you guys think about these new updates? Let us know in the comment section. We hope that you liked the video. If you did, then leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel by pressing the red button and also that bell icon. And we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.